He's been fruitless so far, trying to make his way into Riverside, but that certainly doesn't mean he'll be giving up. If there's one thing he's learned over the past few weeks, it's that these Walking Dead are anything but intelligent. While their numbers may be too many for him to take out individually, perhaps as a group, he could lead them away and make his way further into the city. It won't take a gun or a weapon to thin them out, merely his voice and some quick thinking. As he heads into the house and gets ready to lay himself to rest for another evening, getting more and more used to this place that was meant to be just a single night's respite, plans begin to swirl in his mind as to how he'll thin out those hordes. And maybe, just maybe, with his fingers crossed and a bit of luck on his side, he'll finally find that axe he's been looking forever for. Or just death and disappointment. Then again, what's new? Having narrowly avoided death for a second time, Mike Garcia counts his blessings as he makes his way over to the house he almost died in. But not to die, to take a nap. It's time to take some rest. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we are gonna have Michael Garcia relax and heal up here uh, in the house that we were in before, before making a, a real proper attempt at making a run at, uh, river, at Riverside. I'm very nervous about it. I don't know how well it's going to go for us. Also, our bat is actually really hurt. We have no nails, but we actually got a box of them. So that's a lie. Open one box of nails. And before we go to bed, uh, we will go ahead and do what we've been doing, which is just throwing some repairs on our baseball bat in desperate hopes that we can keep this thing alive. <laughs> Ooh, we actually did damage to it that time. All right, that's all right. When in doubt, nail it out, baby. This bat, by the end of it, is, is going to just be made of nails. Oof, we are failing, failing, failing. There we go. Repaired 25 times. A nice little count of how uh, valuable this thing has been to us. We're still repairing it. The odds are not in our favor, just barely, but it's still actually working. Looks like it's slowed down now. We haven't... That's three in a row we haven't succeeded on. There we go. Oop, did some damage. I guess we're like crit failing when we do that. All right, you know what? Good enough, good enough, good enough. <laughs> let's, let's not worry about it. We should actually just toss these dirty rags on the ground. We don't need to carry them with us. We have no reason to even hold on to them before dinner. Let's eat this delicious piece of pizza. Remind us of uh, what it was like to eat junk food so long ago. There we go. Let's just make sure it's like, a, I wanna make sure we're tired at least, but it's gonna be difficult for us to get tired. So we may just end up staying up really late and only napping a bit. All right, well, he finally laid his head down at around uh, 2 a.m. and we woke up at 10, it's not too bad actually. We're going to eat an onion for breakfast. I genuinely don't know how he could do that. Uh, let's go ahead and drink one. Are we good? Let's have one more. Okay, I'm really just trying to make sure we're nice and full, and it seems like the day is going to be a very foggy one. We'll never be back in this house, so let's just dump it all. We're incredibly bored, which really just means we're in danger of becoming sad again, which all things considered with what we've gone through recently, honestly, not that bad. Not that bad at all. We're still quite overweight. I think it's the nails. There we go. So I guess this is going to be the day we try to head into Riverside. I guess we should top off our, our tank before we go in. We do know there's a dino fuel not far, so even if we do use some gas, it's not that big of a deal. 
if we can get in close enough, we can actually go ahead and uh, siphon some extra gas. Speed that up. Did we do it? Well, we'll throw that one in, I guess. Uh, weird that this one won't fit now. Some weird inventory thing I'm imagining. Front right seat, absolutely. Oh no, we might have something there. Yeah, we got a propane tank. All right, and we have a rear right seat. We could probably throw this in the rear right. All right, well, please start. And we still, what? What is happening? I don't know if there's a bug or what, but add gasoline. Yeah, we're chugging it in there. There we go, okay. I mean, it gave us about a half a tank. It's better than nothing, I guess. Ooh, all of a sudden it feels way slipperier. All right, Riverside. I'm hoping this is gonna be a good little attempt for us. Maybe during the night, they spread out a little bit. We did give them a couple of days. I also don't want to uh, go too fast. I don't want the engine to be roaring and dra uh, dragging any attention to us. Yeah, like that. I think maybe here is fine. She got a little distracted. Alright, let's move in. Let's start picking off who we can. Even if we just thin their numbers a little bit, it's gonna be better for us when it comes to wanting to explore. And also, there's a fence we could hop. Okay, so this is the graveyard. We do know quite a lot of them made it over here. Again, due to that house alarm. Good, we got the attention of one. Better hearing than the other, but the other one's gonna catch sight. So he's gonna make his way. Now we'll stop. There we go. Just don't give him a chance to group. Don't give him a chance to, to att attract more. Keep the groups as thin as you can. Two more over here, three more over here, with another six to our south. We can probably just make it through without agitating any of them. Or at least not agitating, uh, except for, I guess, this entire circle of them. Just gonna keep moving. It's honestly not too bad. They're spread enough. Where I think we can just kind of walk around most of them. Trying to sneak. Oof. They are really all grouping at this fence here. They're causing quite a commotion for themselves. Still being followed. Wow, another giant group of them there. Just clustered. Again, peeling away one to one to three of them, I think, from each crowd isn't a bad idea. Even if we're not doing it on purpose, it will cause them to spread. Man. They still have so much- there's- this is not the city. Maybe we do want to bring our car down here. I think we can manage? Let's pull away. We're already exhausted a bit. Let's just drop some stuff on the ground. Still over encumbered. All right, let's let's pull them off the street. Let's get the car down here. I think we might be able to make it happen. Oh, they busted open the gate. Honestly? This is not terrible. The construction site's open to us now. And if we decide to yank a few of them around to the tree area, kind of follow the leader of them over here. Cut through some trees, maybe lose a few of them. Maybe they'll get distracted and kind of caught up over here. Work our way wide around and we're not in a bad place.
appropriate music. As we try and get the car to start. Come on. Come on. We got some walkers. There we go. Move. First gear. That should be the biggest crowd. Right around them. Screeching of the tires. The clear attraction of all the dead eyes that linger our way when we whip around. Another small group here. And here. No fear, Michael Garcia. No fear. Okay, we're back. We're back. We're back to where we hit our first snag. And there's the gas station. Okay. 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 We're gonna leave the car in the middle of the street right here. Though this is probably a very bad. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Alright, I really wanted to check out the police station. I still think we have an opportunity to. We have to be smart though. Take some beta blockers, keep our panic very down. Never good to get too heavily used to a drug of any type. Oof. Oof. Back up. We should leave our bags in the car next time. Let's work our way around. I'm, ex I'm, I'm exerting a bit much, and it's costing me a bit more than I'd like. Our exertion is going to cause us problems, basically. I wonder if we could bring our car through the car wash. Just a general curiosity. I, I think this is going to be our next big project, actually. Trying to get this place to be safe. I just don't know if we're going to be able to make it happen now. And our car is in such a bad spot, so let's draw some attention and pull them far away. It's alright. Like lemmings, man. Just lead the lemmings away. The biggest threat is them in numbers, nothing more. Make sure we're good. Good, here's the trees. This is where I want to lead them. The front runners are annoying just because of how fast they are. They basically cause us to potentially lose the slower ones, which we want. So we're going to kind of loop them back around. The beta blockers are not sticking. It's fine. Nice V formation. Reverse V formation. So let's go in, go left, and come out the other side. There's a dirt road. Scream into the trees. They can see us. Perfect. Okay. Not screaming anymore. Basic tactics, man. Basic survival tactics in any zombie game. As long as they're actual zombies and they can be fooled, all you need is what's around you to fool them. Nature. And a quick foot. And they're all in there somewhere now. Now granted, these woods are probably going to be a little bit more dangerous for a few days. But we won't be going in them. Alright, let's see what we can do here about making this area a bit safer for me. The police station is something worth searching. And hope that there's not many in here, if any at all. Oh right, this is where we got scratched. Let's pop that window. See, where did, did you just like stumble out of that and then just immediately charge me? Okay. There's at least another one in there. Maybe more than another one. There is, it's like a weird little corner there. That's what got me last time. I did not realize this little cubicle in the center was just that. I wonder if the officer who had the key to this place is gone. I'm so confused. Oh, they came in the back door! That's what it was. I had no idea that was even a thing they could do. 
Alright, well, let's remove broken glass. Give ourselves some clean movement, because we're this door is gonna have to come down. I think. It's clearly a reinforced door. They've been banging on it for a while. I don't think there's any windows into it either. Do I have a crowbar? I wonder if I could actually use the crowbar. I never even thought of that before. If this works, I'll be I'll be laughing. No. No. What if I equip it? No. Okay, well. I tried. Alright, the police station's gonna have to wait, because the, the most valuable room in there is locked. And I, I don't even know if they're going to be able to break the door down. I don't know if reinforced doors are breakable by just zombies pounding away at it. If they are, uh, I imagine it's going to take a long, long, long time. Oh, we've got a key right here to the cab, maybe? Franken's val Valuline? So is that what this is? Is it just the key to the store? I was hoping I would be able to stomp on him. We're running low on energy real bad. Uh, lollipop, let's go ahead and pop it. At least you're not tired anymore. The pistol's so tempting. It's so tempting to just go ham in here, but not with our car this close. We run the risk of just... screwing ourselves completely. We're already running that risk right now with the way we're acting, so... Let's just grab some more and pull more away. If we can't fight them right now, we might as well try and at least position them. It's not a great tactic in that it's not the most exciting, but it works. We have more trees over here. We'll try and pull a similar similar tactic. We'll try and lose them in the forest. We'll loop our way around. I think we'll head back north because we know it's at least pretty clear over there. We'll come back out, maybe hit up the gas station, or try to clean it up. I just don't know where I'm gonna rest for the night. We could go back, but I feel like it's such a waste. Hope this is not where I tried to lose the other ones. Looks clean, looks clear. Yep, we didn't even go that far. Now we hope that they're lost for a good long time. We are highly exerted. I am very nervous about that. We could run the risk of resting in here. And hope that we don't get jumped, basically. I haven't even checked back in the prison area. Rest. Yeah, they're still thumping away. That was risky, now that I think about it. That was incredibly risky, now that I think about it. Don't do that. Don't do what I just did. Because even if they didn't break out, they're causing enough noise where they could attract nearby zombies and they could end up in the building. That alone would be enough to get me killed if I wasn't expecting it. All right. I'm down to kill these two. Let's pull the fast one first if we can. Not really a fast one. They're about the same speed. Okay. Good. Come on. There we go. Excuse me? <laughs> Please step on him. A big hiking bag. Oh boy, oh boy. That is gonna replace one of our two hiking bags. We never, I have not seen a big hiking bag in forever. And I was a tiny bit more generous with the loot uh, this time around when I created this world. Just to give a true sense of uh, an abandoned world. 
Okay. Man, this is... Whoa, 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 whoa. Thought I would see them. This is a lot more intensive than I thought it was gonna be. We're just trying to get into the city and already we can see that getting into any city beyond our starting one of Rosewood is going to be a challenge. Spiffo Van Key, you know we gotta take it. We'll come back for you, Spiffo Van. This has been a very intense episode, and it's not even that long of a one. It's a lot of decision making, and uh, just trying to make use of some new tactics. All right. Hopefully, hopefully the gas station is manageable now. Got some fresh clothes. We actually have the key for this one. That must have been the key over here. We know there's... Okay, we got two down here. We know there's one inside. We saw her go in. There's two inside. Let her come out. If only broken glass did anything to you. Come on. I know we're a tiny bit exerted here, but... You gotta do me better than that. Thank you. Michael Garcia working the muscles. Okay. Front door's being banged on, so we've got one at the front door as well. Sorry, need to turn the music off. I need to listen. Let's pull back a bit. Yep. Another one coming out of the gas station. Man, she just flew for me. Two down. Still that pack down there. I'll take the painkillers off of them. We've gone through some, so it's not a bad thing to replenish. Two? Maybe at the door? Now we got a back door. Somebody's in the bathroom. Why am I cleaning these? Well, like I said, we're all about having escape points throughout the entire place. We need them. She just doesn't seem to care. So we might be able to get in behind her and knock her down, but nope. Yep, and she moved just then. Trying to flank me. Come on. Damn it. I shouldn't have sprinted. All right, um, how are we going to do this? I don't know if we're going to be able to get in there. Not while there's daylight, unfortunately. Daylight is starting to fade quickly. And look at the buildings are starting to get old. Nature's starting to reclaim them very, very slowly. All right, I think we have to try and get out of here. All right, let's try and sneak in the back here, get the car started, and let's just back out. We've done some work. We've got a long way to go still. Items are on the seat. Shit. Okay, thank you. Actually worked. Bye! Idiots. What kills anybody in a game like this? Overconfidence. And what almost happened there? Almost got overconfident enough to say, let's stay here the night and maybe we'll sleep in the back room somewhere and we can tackle it later. Instead, let's not. And let's find a place that we can consider relatively safe. Have we gone down this dirt road yet? There might be a place we can kind of settle in a little closer. Well. I might have already been down here, actually. Yep, I knocked that mailbox over. Overconfidence. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Not panic is the answer. A lot of houses over here. Oh, no. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Didn't hit any of them. Alright, that's a back roads. We're not gonna go over that way next time. Absolutely not! Oh god. Sorry! 
Might be a good thing that you're dead now, though. Though our hood is likely all beat to hell. Slow it, slow it. We don't need to speed away anymore. We're not in a bad spot. There we are. Temporary home. Gotta admit, starting to miss the firehouse by uh, quite a bit. He's beginning to dream of it a little bit. When he sleeps, he, w he wakes up assuming he's gonna be back there. It's safer there than it is here, that's for certain. Let's get as much water as we can. Water's still running, which is good. All right, we'll drop this here. I think we'll put Michael in his room for the night. We can rest easy. Even though he doesn't want to be here specifically, it's better than being back there. And still so much more to explore.